Hello everyone, welcome to Dixon's Java 101 Tutorial 13. And today I'm going to teach you how to program a Chinese zodiac. So what is a Chinese zodiac? Chinese zodiac is a calendar, is a Chinese calendar where an animal is associated associated to the year. So for example, this year is 2014, it is the year of the horse. And horse is good f means for good for businesses. It's fast growing place and economy, um, all the good characteristics of a horse. And if you're born in the year of that animal, assuming that you were born in the year of a dog, which is in 1994, you'll have the good. You should have the good characteristics of a dog, like being loyal and and playful, and all the good characteristics of a dog. So. It is superstitious, I do really believe. So today I'm going to teach you and do a recap using the switch statement to determine your animal. So today, if a user enters a year, the program is going to find out the animal. So we're going to do a recap of switch statement, and I'm also going to introduce you to the modulus operator. So let's get started. So I created a project created my input um, library and I created a scanner in main. So now I'm just going to create my data type and my variable. It's good program practice to do it at the beginning of the program. So I'm just going to int, int year. I'm going to have a simple print statement enter a year. And you know me, I like to give example by i.e 2014 because I want to know because this year it is the year of the horse and hopefully what I'm going to teach you is going to work. Enter a year, we're going to have the input statement which is year is equal to input um, input dot next int. I always get next and input mixed up, but make sure it's input dot next because we've created the scanner here and input relates to their input. Okay, once someone enters the year, now we can just use a simple switch statement. This is a recap from the last tutorial. And we're gonna put in the condition. This is something new, so I'm going to introduce you to the modulus operator. Modulus operator is simply the percent sign, which is the key on my keyboard, um, shift 5. So it's on the 5, just shift 5, and you have modulus, which is the percent sign. So for example, I put 25 modulus 10. The end, if we go 25 divided by 10, is 2.5. But the modulus operator only prints out the remainder. So when it's two, 25 divided by 10, it is 2.5, and the answer will just be 5. And just giving you another example, if it's 46 divided by uh, modulus 10, what will it give you? It's going to give you number 6. Awesome. So now, remember, we have to put in the condition or the variable of the switch statement. So we're assuming we're going to use year, year, modulus, 12. So this is the formula uh, for the Chinese zodiac. We want to enter a year, 2014, divided by 12. Let's see what happens. Let me get my calculator. It's, give, it's going to give you 167.8333. Um, yes, but that doesn't give you the remainder. So we cannot just assume that it's going to be divided by 12. But you sometimes have to write it in long division and write the remainder. So this doesn't really help. But we can just go 100, yeah, 12 times 167 minus 2014, that will give you my remainder. And that should give me the remainder of 
10, because it's going to be case 10 in one of my examples. So let's just get started. Now we're just going to have a simple case statement like case 0. In my previous example, I use 1 because I'm assuming when the user enter number 1, it's going to give me Monday. And then if the user enter 7, it's going to give me Sunday. So I didn't have 0. But in this example, since we're doing calculation, we have to consider 0 is actually a number in a case um, in the case situation. So we have to put case 0 colon and do a simple print line and we're just going to call it monkey because when it's a remainder it is the year of the monkey. You will see what happens. It's very interesting. Make sure again to have your break. I usually forget my breaks and I'm trying to make myself to remember them. Now we can just copy and paste it and list all the other words. So I'm just going to give you another one. Just write it again. Case 1 System the outdoor print line and call it rooster. R O O S T R. And make sure you have the break. You can have it all on one line because we differentiate it and separate it via a semicolon. So now I can just copy all this and paste it in there. And then the Chinese zodiac has 12 animals. So we're just going to simply write all the animals there. Also, that was good. So we first of all we have the monkey, the rooster, we have the dog, the year of the dog, we have the year of the pig, we have the year of the rat, we have the year of the ox. I think the ox is a cow. I think so, yeah. Tiger with the year of the tiger. The year of the rabbit. Then we have the dragon. I'm not sure if the dragon is an animal, um, but we do have the year of the dragon. We have the year of the snake. And it's very important to have the years in order. Because if you have the year in different order, it's not going to work. Horse and sheep. Let me see if I've got all the right ones. Oh yeah, because 0 is our first one, so that's why we have only case 11. But we still have 12 here, including the case 0. So I'm not going to do a default statement because, I don't, because I'm going to allow the user to enter as uh, many years as they want. Like if they enter 1 million year, this program is still going to be able to calculate what animal is going to be on the on the million year. So it's very interesting. So now let's give this a try and run this program. It looks like there's no errors, which is great. Okay, so let's start this again. We will run the program. And we're going to run an intro year 2014. Awesome. Horse. And I just uh, got this from the internet. So if you're in the born in the year of the 2014, you'll be the year of the horse. And if you're born in 2010, the tiger, 2008, rat. You can also go down to all down to all the way down to the 1990s, 90, or the 80s, the 70s, 100s. Um, if you want to know your, your great granddad when they were born and what animal they were, you can go down as or higher or lower if you want. And we'll put us here. I'm gonna run this again. I want to know on the millionth year, on one million year, so six zeros, what year is it gonna be? It's gonna be the year of the rat. Isn't that interesting? And I want to know when was one thousand one hundred year. It's also the year of the rat. Oh, yeah, one. That's interesting. Oh. 
Oh, because this is greater than the size of the int. This int variable can only hold a certain value. You might have to use the variable for long. But int is a very common, but that's a that's a huge number. I don't know what number is that. But within the millions, like one million two hundred. That's gonna be the year of the ox. So just a recap. Um it's just pretty much a state print statement. Input, have your switch statement, print out your certain switch, make sure you inc include k0 because that's the first, and 0 is the first number in computer programming. Have your breakpoints, understand the modulus formula. This is very, very useful if you do high computer programming. You can use it for if you want to print every 10th data and put it on the next line, you use this formula because if 10 divided by 10. There's no remainder, and you can tell the computer when there's no remainder, you put it on the next line. But I will show you that later on. But yeah, so give this a try, and now you can program the Chinese Zodiac. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.